Good morning, this is Marcus Brown bringing you today's market update. We start in Germany where Deutsche Bank witnessed its share price plummet again last night, consequently pushing Wall Street into the red. The fall came as reports emerged that numerous key funds significantly reduced their exposure to the German lender. Ten of the bank's derivatives clearing clients, including Millennium Partners and Capital Investment Management, decided to shift their listed derivatives holdings away from Deutsche Bank to other firms. The new sent shock quotes through banking equity markets with the S&P 500's financial shares ending down 1.6%. Deutsche Bank's troubles are seen as a wider reflection of the state of European banks as a whole, with key figures such as Credit Suisse boss to Jane Fiam sounding the alarm that a potential European banking crisis is just around the corner. In UK news, it has been reported today that consumer confidence levels have reached pre-referendum levels, with Brits feeling ever more optimistic. GFK's consumer confidence bar barometer bounced back this month to minus one, up six points in August and some 32 points higher than the immediate term of the referendum result. It has also been reported today that FTSE 100 listing outsourcing firm Capita saw its share price fall more than 25% yesterday as it released a profit warning. The company stated that it expects full year underlying profits to fall between £535 million and £555 million, representing a significantly lower figure than its previous £614 million forecast. In commodities, oil price rally stalled yesterday afternoon as doubts crept in regarding OPEC's provisional agreement to cut oil output. Ranko Beric, head of market analysis at Monex Europe, said it appears that market participants remain skeptical of OPEC's metal and it cuts an ounce will be sufficient to clear the current supply glut in crude. In corporate news, Airbus has merged its plane making and engine making businesses. Nissan boss Carlos Gus said that its UK operations would need some sort of compensation if tax tariffs were introduced following Britain's exit from the EU. Volkswagen, the German car giant, is considering a move to start building some of its Skoda models in the US. Salesforce has, has urged EU antitrust authorities to scrutinise Microsoft's bid for LinkedIn. Sharp, the company, said it plans to invest 57.4 billion yen in organic light emitting diode technology. Metal Graphics, activist investor Elliot, has taken an 8.1% stake in the company. In upcoming data, 7 o'clock saw the German retail sales for August released. Also at 7, the UK nationwide house price index was at 10 balls announced. At 7.45 saw the French consumer spending figures for August revealed. 10 o'clock sees Italian unemployment figures for September released. Also at 10, European unemployment data for August and consumer price index for September are announced. And at 2.45 in the US, Chicago purchasing managers index is uncovered. Thank you for listening.